I'm actually pretty sure this one's gonna make it out on Monday. This will be like two or three in a row. If I'm not careful, this damn segment's gonna start living up to its name. You guys are gonna start actually expecting these things on Monday. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Manship Monday. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that I would bet like 99% of all you guys out there carry in your pocket every day. Out of all the stuff that we carry around, all of our EDC and all that, most guys carry some form of wallet. You gotta have something to keep your cards and stuff in. I hate to admit, and I'm a little embarrassed to say, that back in the day, this was years and years ago, but I was firmly in Team Costanza when it came to wallet. I had this huge, just gnarly, thick bifold wallet just stuffed full of that I never would need on a day-to-day -day basis. I had receipts from the last five years if the IRS audited me, I would have been fine because I had all the receipts in my daggum wallet. Gift cards that didn't have money left on them. Just a like three and a half inch thick. It was basically the physical representation of fitting 10 pounds of shit into a five pound bag. It was horrible. Just a three and a half inch thick hunk of sciatic nerve and flaming, back pain inducing, just couldn't even close it, crap. I hope that gives you a good mental picture of what I was dealing with here. Years ago, for the sake of my back, I switched over to the more minimal style wallet, the kind of wallet you would just carry in your front pocket. And today, that's the stuff we're looking at. We're looking at some really, really great wallets, some of my favorites right now, from a company called Treybacks. <laughs> I hate to admit it, I was slow on the uptake with Treybacks. Most of you guys have probably already heard about them a long time ago. They've been around for quite a while. They're a great company. I just totally missed the boat on them for some reason. I didn't find out about them until a couple months ago when they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out some of their wallets. Trayvex is definitely most well known for their wallets for sure, but they also make some other pretty cool products. They make some leather key lanyard type things. They have this one little lanyard that's like a quick disconnect for your keys. Uh, it's called the Link that they're coming out with soon. I'm actually hoping to get my hands on and check out someday. They have these little comb jobs that are real thin that go down in their wallets. They do source all the materials for their products and hand make them here in the United States, which is pretty awesome. Much, much love for all my friends out there in other countries. But I've obviously got to show a little respect for guys that are doing their thing right here in the good old US of A. They do have a full line of, I think it's like nine or 10 different styles of wallets. However, today we're only going to look at three just to keep this video from being too, too long. But I did pick three that I thought were a fairly good representation of the different kinds of thing they offer in their wallets or in their product line. The first one we're we're going to look at today is the Armored Summit. This is probably one of the most minimal of their product line, kind of simplest. Also one of their least expensive. Uh, it's about 35 bucks for this wallet. It's also my second favorite of the three. This is definitely the most kind of high speed, low drag, tactical kind of option they offer. It's basically two steel plates that have been coated with melanite for durability and they're held together by a piece of mil spec nylon webbing. This thing is basically a tank. Now I don't say that because of size or weight because obviously this thing is pretty Pretty slim and light. I say that because this is steel with a melanite coating, which is basically the same kind of thing they make a lot of firearms of. So if it's good enough for a firearm, it's definitely good enough for something that's going to be hanging around your pocket. You can fit about seven or eight cards in this one, so pretty good capacity. It's also fully adjustable here with this nylon strap. You can tighten this up or loosen it based on how many cards you have in. So whether you've got two or three cards or you got this thing fully loaded at like seven or eight, you can really get a good snug fit, make sure your cards are nice and secure and they're not going to come out of there. The nylon strap is also available in multiple colors. So if you like to kind of theme your stuff or match this to the rest of your everyday carry, you can absolutely do so. There is a nice attachment point up here. So you can slap a carabiner on this guy or put a lanyard of some nature on it. It has RFID protection. So you don't have to worry about any of those shady trying to scan your stuff and steal your information, which is cool. It also does have an integrated money clip right here on the back, so you can slip a few dollars right here in the back and holds it nice and snugly for you. And as with everything these days, you of course have an integrated bottle opener. And lastly, I just love the functionality of this wallet, uh, with pretty much all of their wallets actually. Trayvax does a really good job of designing these so they're easy to use. Some of the elastic wallets I used to carry that were basically just as minimal as you get, they're basically just some elastic that holds your cards together. They would be kind of hard, you'd kind of have to stretch it out and try to thumb through your cards to get one out. Kind of difficult and the elastic eventually wore out from you stretching it all the time and whatnot. This guy, they have a little kind of open area right here that you can just use your thumb and you can very easily thumb through your cards to get to the one you want 
pull out the dude you're looking for and Bob's your uncle. You're good to go. And because there's no elastic, it's got this nylon strap. Like I said, you don't have to worry about that elastic ever wearing out. This thing's gonna last a long time. Because this guy is so slim, I don't know if you can tell how thin that is, and that's loaded up pretty good. I've got about, I've got eight cards in there. It's still really, really slim. You drop this in your pocket and it just disappears. You don't even know it's in there. Now you might be saying, Jeremy, that's tip top. I like it, it's good, but I'm a leather guy. I really am into leather. I get you, I'm into leather too. I love the tactile kind of feel of leather. I love the smell. Am I weird that I really like the smell of leather? Kind of reminds me of like baseball gloves when you were a kid or we used to have horses when I was a kid and the saddles were made of leather and they had a smell to them and just, I don't know. Leather is great stuff. It looks better the longer you have it and the more you use it because it has that gets that really awesome patina on it. Leather is just great stuff. And that's why I picked this next one, the Ascent. This one is hand-stitched top grain leather with a melanite coated steel frame in the middle. Another really slim design on this one also. Put this guy down in your pocket, it's gonna disappear. You're not even gonna really notice in there. This one is in the tobacco brown finish. They also have two or three other colors. They have one called Mississippi Mud. They have a black. I can't remember all the colors, but several different leather finish options if you don't like brown. This one, you basically have two pieces of leather that are hand stitched with a metal frame in the middle, forming like two pockets on either side for you to put your cards in. Again, they gave you a little window right here. So the cards on this side of the pocket, you can kind of thumb up through them to get them out do what you need to do with them, get them back in there. This side, they've gone with something different, which is a kind of cool little approach that I like. It's got this little nylon strap here, and all you do is, if you want a card from this side, you just pull up on that strap a little bit, and it pops the cards right out. You can get what you need, put it back in, and then when you push the cards down, it retracts the strap back down. So, I thought that was pretty cool. They do a good job designing these wallets. They're all pretty easy to retrieve your cards from, quick access, which is one of the things I really have been a fan of when it comes to the Travex wallets. You also have a little slit back here if you want to keep a few bills here in the back. It does have a place for you to keep some bills. The only real downside of this wallet, and the only reason this is my least favorite of the batch, it's not because of the look. I think this thing looks fantastic. Like I said, it's got that nice leather smell, so that's really good. <laughs> This is probably the smallest capacity of the three I've got here today. This one, you're gonna probably, I mean, it is leather and it will stretch, so you know, you could probably, I think the capacity they read on this is like six cards or so, but I would say two to three on each side is gonna be comfortable. Anything more than that, and I don't know, personally, I think it's gonna be stretching it a little bit, it's gonna be a little tight, it's gonna be really hard to get those cards up out of there, but nevertheless, it's gonna have a little less capacity than the other two, and there is no adjustability like the other ones. This one, if you really pack it full and it stretches out a little bit, then it's going to be stretched out and you're not going to be able to go with less cards. If you only carry a few cards, if you're the type of person that carries like I'd say six or less cards, this is an awesome wallet. I love it. I really love the way this wallet looks. But if you're like me and you tend to carry like eight to ten cards, this guy's probably not going to be your best choice. But nevertheless, really cool one and this is going to run you about 60 bucks. The last one, and my favorite by far, just love this thing, is the Contour. Now, I did carry all of these wallets for a little while to get a feel for them to see how they used and how they worked, but as soon as I put my stuff in this one, I loved it right away. This one is the number one pick as far as I'm concerned. In my opinion, this one combines all the best features of the leather option, the Ascent, with the kind of more minimal option, the Armor Summit, into a perfect little package of badassery. This is kind of their flagship wallet. It's, I think, the most expensive in their lineup, but man, do I love it. You've got this nice CNC machined metal frame here mixed with the same kind of top grain leather you had in the other wallet. These leather straps are 100% adjustable, so kind of like the Armored Summit, depending on whether you're only keeping a few cards in here or a bunch, you can undo these little T6 screws right here, push this strap in or pull it out, get it to fit your cards just completely snug and perfect. Speaking of flexibility, it also has one of the highest capacities. I think they say that this one holds up to 13 cards and like 10 bills. Right now I've got about 10 cards in it, I think. Between my license and my concealed carry and my debit card and a couple credit cards and my Costco membership and just blah, 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 I always end up having at least eight or 10 cards on me most of the time. So it's nice that this one can easily take that amount and you can adjust these leather straps and they fit everything nice and snug. I also like the fact that this totally holds your cards in. It's got this little leather strap that goes over the top and kinda, if you hear this, oh, hold on this. For you ASMR guys, hold on, you can. Oh, that's nice. Hold on, wait, one more time. Oh. <laughs> it's actually not a button, it's a cool design. It's like a little, 
post here with a flared out top and this has got a grommet that kind of clips over it. And I mean, when that thing gets in there, it locks in. If you've got it adjusted right, it locks in good and tight. The post here is also adjustable. So not only are your straps adjustable, but your post is adjustable to make sure you get a nice sturdy snap on it. It's also got this flap around back. So when you undo it, you can slip some bills in there very nicely and securely. Just like with all their other wallets, they leave this part open, which is really nice. So again, you can just thumb through those cards get to the card you need, pull out what you need, put it back. I really find that's a quick, easy way to use the wallet. It makes getting stuff in and out really nice and simple. On the end here, you do have an attachment point. Again, so you can put a carabiner, or in my case, I put a lanyard. I got a thing with lanyards. I love lanyards. I think they add a little extra touch to them. More for anything, it's for functionality for me. I add lanyards on a lot of stuff because it helps me extract it from my pocket easier. If I've got this down in my pocket, this lanyard is usually kind of up top, kind of sitting up high in my pocket, and it makes it really simple that when I reach down in there, I feel that lanyard, I grab that, and I can use that just to really quickly pull it out of my wallet. And as always, of course, we've got a bottle opener. Now, I think we've got a bottle opener epidemic going on our hands. We talked about it with the other one. I mean, what's, I don't, I don't think I open like a bottle, maybe two bottles a month. I mean, do I have like a bottle deficit or something? Are you guys opening bottles like six times a day that you just need to have a bottle opener, like quick draw all the time in case you need to open some, I don't understand. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy they do it. It's, you know, it doesn't take up any extra room and it's nice to have, but man, do people love putting bottle openers on stuff these days. It's crazy. On this model, you got two different things you can customize. You can pick your frame color and you can pick your leather color, which is nice. You can really kind of customize it and get it which, how you want it. But my choice was to go with the gold frame and the tobacco brown leather. I just love anything that looks like brass or copper. All the brown leathers tend to patina really well. You know, actually the other day, me and a friend and fellow YouTuber, Taylor, were talking about the kind of brass, copper, leather kind of trend right now and how popular all the patinas are and the leathers and stuff. You'll probably hear me mention Taylor a lot in videos having to do with EDC stuff. If you don't know who Taylor is, he runs the channel Best Damn EDC, and that is a great channel. I have found so many different everyday carry brands, makers, different kinds of cool pens and knives and stuff because of his channel. He does these great pocket dumps where he analyzes people's everyday carry. He's got a lot of other cool content, modding and customizing EDC gear. So definitely, I suggest if you haven't checked out Taylor's channel, go check it out for sure. I'll put a card here. That's where the cards are. I always forget which side, but it's left, so it's over here. I'll put a card up here for his channel. Uh, and I'll also link it below, but really, really great channel. Go check it out for sure. We were talking about it the other day, and why is it that the copper and the leather and the brass and stuff is just so hot today and so popular? I don't know, for me at least, it's because you get like some patinaed up and aged brass or copper with some leather. You throw in like some cigar or some coffee, maybe some whiskey, things like that. Like all that stuff to me kind of exudes and kind of embodies man shit. You know, that's all man stuff. All that stuff just reminds me of guy stuff. The older leather and brass and stuff gets and the better the patina gets, just the cooler it looks. Now it should be said, I don't think this is actually brass. Uh, it gives you the look of brass because it's got that gold color and with the leather, it's gonna look great. Trayvax also does offer engraving on the leather stuff. So if you want them to emboss or engrave some stuff in here and personalize it, which is pretty cool. Quick heads up, they will not do any type of profanity. You say, Jeremy, how did you, how do you know they won't do profanity? Well, I was hoping they would, I'm a huge Pulp Fiction fan and I thought it would be really cool to get a wallet that had bad mother on it. That did not fly, <laughs> which I totally get. I totally understand their stance of not wanting to get in that bag of worms of putting profanity on stuff, but nevertheless, couldn't get my Samuel Jackson homage wallet, but, all in all, if you're looking to get a really great wallet that's gonna last a long time, all these wallets carry a 65 year heirloom warranty is what I think they call it. Basically, this wallet's gonna outlive me probably. They really stand behind their products because they're super well made. They're such nice people. There's two things we have to say before we close out the video. One, they offered me a discount code. So for any of you guys that do wanna give any of the Trayvax products a try, use the code Manshit Monday at checkout and you'll get 10% off of your order. Second thing, they were generous enough to give me three wallets for a giveaway. So I'm gonna do a giveaway all the details will be below along with the discount code and everything. If you click that, it'll take you to the site that'll kind of walk you through how we're going to do the giveaway. I usually do my giveaways through Gleam because it's an automated kind of thing and it keeps everything fair and above board. What I'm going to be giving away is one of each of these wallets. We're going to have three winners. First place is going to get my favorite, the Contour 
Second place will get the Ascent, this leather wallet, and third place winner will get an Armored Summit. So we will have three winners. There will be several different ways to enter and ways to get multiple entries into the competition. So again, just click that link below and that'll walk you through everything. So that's it. That is another episode of Manship Monday in the books. I hope you guys like this one, enjoyed hanging out with me for a little while today. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. Click that little notification button while you're up there. Just make sure you don't miss an upload. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video.